Ksenia Karolina, 50 bucks or so to a Ukraine charity. They've held her now 60 days. Family very frustrated by it not being a finding of wrongful detention. What am I missing about the process? You know, the process, uh, like a few years ago, there wasn't a process. Um, I'd say prior to 2020, we would take a look at a case. We try to garner a lot of information. And if we felt someone was being used as a bargaining chip uh, against the United States, that was kind of the driving factor. And consequently, my numbers weren't that high. You know, we didn't have too many cases because it had to be something that felt truly as if we were being leveraged. Uh, Congress did us a great fa favor in 2020 by passing the Robert Levinson Act, and that gave us 20, uh, 11 separate criteria that we now can apply to the facts of the case to determine whether someone's being wrongfully detained or not. That decision's made by the Secretary of State ultimately, but when we, t when we get a case, when a case eventually comes to us, we're trying to vacuum up every little bit of information we possibly can, whether it's through classified channels, talking to family members like Chris, the gentleman you've been talking to, reading news reports, certainly our people on the embassies uh, around the world report right. back to us, and eventually we try to get that picture. Now, with Evan's case, it was just so clear cut. Right. He just was recently accredited by the Russians. His visa was approved. Uh, he was arrested. And then the next day, the FSB, the intelligence services, put out a press release, essentially, saying that we caught someone and we're accusing him of espionage. And then plus for the, the very fact that I know he's not guilty. You know, Evan is not a spy. He never was a spy. He was simply a reporter working for the Wall Street Journal. And journalism is not a crime. So Evan was one of those cases where within a 10 to 11 day period, you were able to do it. Yeah, the same with Danny Fenster in Burma. I think that also had a flash to bang time of 11 days because it was just right there in front of you. Right. Other cases take a little longer. And uh, we, we're constantly trying to bring this information in to render a decision. There's no advantage into waiting. In other words, we're not waiting for a time hack or waiting for a certain geopolitical condition to change. As soon as we have enough information and it seems wrongful, we'll right. act on it. Do and you I'll think, Roger, this. Do you think that, oh, do you think that there's any realistic chance of Whalen, Gershkovich, and I'll just stay with them now because obviously yeah. Ksenia is so early in the process. Um, I don't know why they let her go first unless they just, you know, want to admit that it was just a ridiculous thing to do. Is there any reason to believe anything could happen anytime soon? Yeah, you know, I have to be hopeful. Uh, I'm going to hit one thing on your previous question, if I may. Please. You, uh, uh, I would say this. Um, on Ksenia's case and others, uh, we're not hesitating for any reason. We're just trying to make sure that we have enough facts that we can apply the 11 criteria to. And, and the point being, if I got 10 cases tomorrow, I just simply hire another person. So we don't mind taking on cases. There's no limit. Uh, we're not afraid of the hard work. And if, if the case rises to that level, we're, we're going we're gonna, to uh, uh, make the determination. In terms of getting everyone back, um, uh, I think you have to be an optimist in this job, and that might be a weakness or a strength, depending on, on what side of the bench you're on. I'm always hopeful and that we're going to be able to pull something out. Uh, you probably saw uh, my conversation with uh, Christiane today where uh, she asked me about the 90-day extension in Evan's case. What does that mean? You know, first off, you, know, you never know what it really means. It's really hard to get into the mindset of those who are right. taking Americans and holding them wrongfully. Having said that, I might have to think that, they're, that the uh, Russians don't want the trial process to start just as I don't want it to right. start, because I would rather find a way to get Evan back and Paul back uh, before that trial process starts. And that might actually slow things down. So, you know, if we have 90 days before he goes up for his next look to see if they're going to extend his pretrial detention, I'm going to look at that as we have 90 days and right. we need to keep pushing hard to figure it out. But hear me, there's a sense of urgency. Again, this is this is serious stuff for us. Uh, we don't mark just one year of Evan. Every day is important to us, just like it is for uh, his family. Uh, yeah. the, the families, Evan Gershkovitz and Paul Whalen, um, every day is a is a big day for them. It's another day to go fight, advocate, shed some tears. And frankly, we're in the foxhole, the trench with them, because we talk to these uh, families pretty much every day. So we're right there with them, sh with them shedding tears and try to come up to uh, with ways together to bring their loved ones home. It's good to hear. Roger, I appreciate you. you got an open channel here and a constant invitation. Anything we can do to help bring Americans home, we're here for it. So thank you very Bruce, much, really Mr. Appreciate Carson, thank for you doing so the job. I appreciate what you're doing for these American families. They deserve it and they need it. Thank you. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. 
Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.